Hello my friend, welcome to my channel. Today I've got the Born Pretty Overprint L003 swatches. Here's the beautiful plate. I'll be using these Nicole Diary Silver and Gold polishes and Funky Fingers White and Black. I got my AliExpress stamper and my clear jelly scraper. Now I have sped this video up one and a half times because there's a lot of layers and a lot of images to pull and stick on them nails. So. I have sped it up now if I ever speed up a video and it's just too much for you you can go into settings and adjust the speed you can slow it down you can make it faster um, sometimes I do that when I'm watching videos back to back to back to back and I've got a lot of catching up to do I will speed them up so just for you for your information there now this set of butterfly images on this side of the plate, the left side of the plate, are going from right to left. And um, all you got to do when you get these plates is really look at them and see which ones, you know, are in the same shape and kind of let it lead you that way. But like I said, all of these, these five over here on this side are all right to left. And we'll get to the other ones here in a little bit. I decided to just stamp in these four colors so that I didn't just have a nightmare of a mess on my table when I got done. Um, I just figured this would this would be cool. And I do really like the color combinations. I love the white, black, silver, and gold. So um, there you have that. See, I'm going to show y'all this card trick don't always work for me. So I'm going to have to get a piece of tape. As usual, I'm going to have to get my tape because that's what I normally use. And I'll go ahead and apologize if I sound stuffy, but it's been raining here for weeks and I just cannot shake this funk, this sinus funk. <laughs> and I love, I love how, <clears throat> excuse me, they've got so many different kinds of butterflies on this plate. I mean, you've got side images, straight images. It's just so cool. <clears throat> I'm having to clean that one off with some acetone. And I really meant to do this plate way earlier, but, you know, got distracted or something. I have no idea. Really do love it, though. Because you guys know I love me some butterfly manicures. And if you can layer it up with your own colors and do all these wild color combinations, oh my gosh. The possibilities are endless. <clears throat> I really like this image right here that I'm doing. This one's really nice. I don't know. Sometimes when you picture the butterfly images in your head, you get certain images that, you know, that's what you're picturing. And this is one of the ones I always picture. I'm ready for some butterflies. Buttercups here are trying to um, jump up and sprout everywhere because we had like a little warm spell and now with all this rain I'm just not really sure what's going to happen. We had a little warm spell and then it snapped off stupid cold and then now we've got all this rain and water everywhere. Everything's just so smishy mushy and not in a good way. Not like a smishy manicure or something. It's just yuck. So... Well, enough complaining about that. What I'm saying is I want to see some butterflies. <laughs> All right, we got one more to do up here on the top, and then we'll head on to other parts of this plate. But like I said, I really do. I just, I like the layering plates because it's kind of like advanced stamping where you get all this color and dimension, but you're not having to fill in you know, the design, you know, try to freehand it and get it, get it all, you know, painted in all nice and neat. These are stamping. You just stamp, 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 stamp. And that's pretty cool. <clears throat> it does take some getting used to. I'm going to be the first to admit that. Uh, you know, I told y'all I was very, uh, what's the word? Um, I just, I just was very nervous over these plates. Um, in the beginning when I first got my very first ones, I just, uh, I couldn't, I 
couldn't wrap my head around it. But now that I've played with them a little bit more, and I understand how to watch and look for how the image is supposed to go, you know, from what direction to what direction, which one goes first, now that I've got that down, I'm really enjoying these. Look, I've done forgot which one I was doing. Oh, there we go. But yeah, I'm really enjoying these. I love the look. I think it's just way cool. Okay, now for this one, I've already gotten started. My camera was acting up. Now, these images go from the bottom up to the top of the plate. Not the bottom, bottom, but because there's flowers down there. But the, the image starts kind of in the middle of the plate and goes up. Like I said, just look at it. See which ones, you know, go together. You can tell. I mean, you can tell which ones are shaped the same. I've got enough to them. Now, this, look at that. Oh, oh that's so cute. See, you can start, see, I'm starting kind of at that second line from the bottom, and I'm going to work my way up on this one. Just so much fun. So much fun. And you guys know, I have this problem with overstamping anyway. So, you know, getting to stamp, 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 stamp. That's just, that's my ball game right there. I love it. I just have so much fun with this. And the thing is, is I really need to do a straight up manicure on my nails with this one. Soon. I just, I've got so many things that are on my soon list. You guys just don't know. Manicures I've been dreaming about. Just not enough time in the day. But I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I will try to remember to link directly to this plate and to the Born Pretty store if you're interested in checking them out. Now, I know Born Pretty is one of those that you can find in other places and, and shop the way you shop but if you do go to the born pretty site um you know i've got a link for that down below or i'll have a link for that down below i'm losing my mind maybe it's because it's all stuffy <laughs> some of these little pieces of the image you think well that's just nothing that's like two little dots but you know, it does make a difference when you stamp them on there. It's funny. Lining them up. Oh, I love it. Oh, just, I'm so much in love with these. I love me some butterflies. Or as my friend JKB calls them, flutter bees. <laughs> There's a lot on this plate, though. I was really impressed. Uh, you know, I was, I was like, and I think that's why it took me a while to get back to this plate to swatch it because I knew it was going to be a whole lot of stamping. It's not like just me swatching out a normal plate for you all. This one, <laughs> this one, there's just like so much more to it with all these extra layers. And I like this one too. Here we go. Let's get that one on there. I like all of them. I'm not, I'm not fooling none of you. I love all of them. They're just so cute. But we are winding down. I did try, like I said, I tried to speed this up and, you know, make it not... When I first recorded it straight up, it was like a 30-minute video or something. And then, you know, I cleaned it up a little bit and got it down to like 16. And I was like, that's... In my mind, that's still too long. So, um... I tried to work on it a little bit more, and I decided to just speed it up. Just speed that video smooth up. See, like these. These are two, like, little lines, and you're thinking, well, what's that going to do? Um, and not that my video is going to show it really well, but it does add dimension to it. And any of these little layers, even if they're skinny or tiny or whatever, they still add to the 3D look of it. Oh, I love it. So pretty. And this is going to be the last one that's going up. I'll have one more here in just a few that we'll we'll have one more butterfly and then we got the flowers to do. So, but this is still going up the plate, up the side of the of the plate. See, like this is just two little bitty white dots. You think, hmm, 
whatever. But I'm telling you, it really does make a difference in the end. It's so funny. Loving this stuff. go. Yay. There. Oh, I think that looks so pretty. All right. Now this one is going from right to left like those other ones, the first ones we did. It's going from the right side of the plate over to the, towards the center. And I know that's the confusing part. And, I know, and some of the companies that are doing plates like this now have little arrows imprinted on the plate so that you can, you know, just follow the arrows. It makes it so much easier. But don't get discouraged if you've got a plate like this. Just look at them and, and work it out. It's, it, trust me, if this silly girl right here can do it, anybody can figure them out. That's one reason why I really wanted to swatch this plate. I thought, well, if I put this video up, if somebody's got this plate and they're just, like, lost, maybe it'll help. Look at that one. <laughs> oh, I love it. Of course, it's on pink. Okay, now, I'm going to go ahead and just fess up on this. I'm going <laughs> to... These are just single images, but I'm going to, like, triple stamp them. I'm just going to keep stamping colors because... That is a tip that my friend, <laughs> Miss K, told me. Um, she said that when she stamps and it, she can't see it or it doesn't look good, she just keeps stamping until, you know, she gets something that she can see or something that she likes. <laughs> and I thought, well, I can do that. And it kind of layers it up, too. I mean, because you're offsetting it a little bit, so you can see all the other colors. And look what a mess that plate is now. I mean, it's just got paint or polish all over it, and it's just smeared. I'll give it a good clean in here in a minute. But I just keep going in, tapping more colors down. <clears throat> and I think that is a good idea, because a lot of times we do stamp on our nails, and we're like, well... I can't even see that, so just keep stamping some more. It's just nail polish, you know. You can take it off later, if, you know. But I have had really good luck with, you know, not liking a, a manicure and then it growing on me. <clears throat> okay, so here are all of my little swatches, um, all the little butterflies, the flutter bees. So, um, like I said, I'll have a link for this plate down below if you're interested in checking it out. I do want to thank you for watching. I appreciate you dropping by and watching my swatch, swatching videos. And there's my swatch photo of it. And I want to thank you again for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.